Today, we're going to dive into how you can customize AquaMap and learn more about the flexibility of building your own look and feel. Whether you're looking to adjust the map appearance, measuring units, depth coloring, font sizes, or tweak your visibility settings, we've got you covered. Let's start things off by looking through the customization options in Map Customization, which is found in the Settings menu. First, let's talk about the menu appearance. You've got three options here. Light mode, dark mode, and automatic mode. So what's the difference? Light mode keeps your menu display bright and clear, perfect for daytime use. Instead, dark mode is ideal if you're in low light. It's easier on the eyes and can help with reducing strain during nighttime use. Finally, there's automatic mode which switches between light and dark based on your device's settings. Next up is the map appearance. You can set this to day mode, night mode, or automatic too. Day mode is perfect when you're out in the sunlight and want the map to be bright and easy to read. Night mode is great for evening or nighttime navigation. It dims things down for a softer experience. Automatic switches based on the general settings of your device, just like the menu options. Tip. You can also experiment with the settings, displaying the charts in day mode while keeping the menu in dark mode. Following up, we have depth coloring and safety depth. With both of these options, you can change the map coloring. In depth coloring, you've got two styles to choose from. Standard, which colors the depths like a traditional chart, starting from blue for shallow areas and fading to white for deep areas. Natural mimics the natural colors of the sea. Shallow areas are white, and the deeper you go, the darker the blue gets. And finally, we've got the safety depth setting. This one's pretty important. It lets you set a safe depth for your area. Anything deeper will appear in white, while everything shallower will stay blue. Something AquaMap allows you to adjust is the perspective of your view. The perspective view section lets you widen your navigation view. You can choose from never, manual, or automatic. In automatic mode, AquaMap adjusts the perspective when you're in heading up mode, and it turns off when you switch to north up mode. You can also manually adjust it with two fingers and slide up directly on the charts if you prefer. Finally, let's move on to the Map Visibility section. This is where you can really fine-tune how the map looks. Here, you can adjust the size of most elements on the map, making them bigger or smaller to suit your preferences. If you want to undo the changes you have made, at the end of the menu, there is the Restore option. You will also find in each AquaMap feature the ability to customize elements that are also found in this page. Now, the pattern for map areas setting is another handy feature. You can choose whether or not to show extra icons, like restricted areas, anchoring zones, or no-wake zones. If you find those icons distracting, just disable the patterns and they'll disappear, giving you a cleaner view. In the measuring unit section, you can change the type of measurements from feet to meters, from degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius, and from true to magnetic. And that's a wrap on customizing AquaMap's appearance and visibility settings. We covered a lot today, but I hope you now feel confident adjusting the app to fit your needs. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials and updates.